Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and let's begin pitch day. Um, if you all could take your seats and grab a last snack or two, and we'll we will open up. I didn't take roll, so I hope all my mighty students are here. <laughs> to the 2019 Mighty Pitch Day. I am Dr. Todd Cherner. I'm the Director of the Master of Arts in Educational Innovation, Technology, and Entrepreneurship Program here at the University of North Carolina. To begin, I see today first and foremost as a celebration. The students who you're going to see pitch their ventures today, they, they grew with the program this year. Right? We had this big transition of directors coming from my predecessor to myself. And these students that we see, they didn't just experience that transition. They were key stakeholders in it. They attended job interviews. They asked questions. They engaged. And then when Bree and myself, we moved to Chapel Hill from Portland, Oregon, a huge move, I can't tell you how welcoming and just kind and affirming it was to work with this group of students. So not only were they growing with the program, they were also developing their venture. And I just want to take a moment and give them a round of applause for all that hard work that goes into it. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to recognize Dr. Moise Corolla. You're one of the biggest advocates that the MITEI program has. As I spoke with all the different MITEI students and spent time with them, they all had stories to tell about you and, their impa and your impact on them in some way. Dr. Kerala, in preparation, uh, we asked Beam to print out a copy of the old well. And we would love to present it to you if you'd like to come up and accept the award. Cheers. I hope that the MITEI program and the School of Education will continue a very positive relationship with you. Alright, so we're up to pitch day today. I've worked with my students a lot. They're excited, they're ready, they're prepared. I'm hopefully prepared. And so I want to explain the, the flow of events. So we're going to have two rounds of six five-minute presentations. The presentations will be back-to-back. -back. So please hold your applause and questions until the first round of six presentations is over. Once it is, the students will go to the back high top tables and they'll be able to answer further questions you have, comments you may have about their ventures, and even more excitingly, they all have prototypes. So push the buttons on their computer and see how they function. They've worked very hard to create these prototypes, they've worked very hard to craft their ventures, and I'm excited to see them. All right, to begin, Christy, you ready to do it? All right. Thank you. glioblastoma multiform, and that as a result, you need a chemotherapy cocktail of temozolomide and harmacine, and you also need an allergenic stem cell transplant. Now imagine that you've received this news in a language that you don't speak. Can you imagine how that may feel? This scenario happens far too often to far too many individuals on a daily basis. 
just last year in the North, at the North Carolina Cancer Hospital alone here on, on UNC campus. Over 2,000 Spanish-speaking individuals received their cancer diagnosis in their non-native language. And that is just looking at the Spanish-speaking population. With over 1,500 cancer care facilities across the nation and the vast number of languages spoken in the United States, we estimate that over 750,000 individuals were impacted by this language barrier just last year. Additional barriers that contribute to suboptimal outcomes include higher demand for resources and lower increase of resources, as well as low uh, literacy, health literacy, and an increase in complexity, and as well as other access barriers such as financial and cultural. Care Buddies is a consulting and design firm dedicated to improving patient outcomes by educating, resourcing, and connecting patients, families, and caregivers to educational digital tools in their native language. Care Buddies offers an e-suite of tools, including our e-learning modules, our multimedia presentations, such as new patient orientations. We offer virtual and video tours of our facilities and processes. And we offer a personalized Care Buddy app. We truly meet patients where they are with adaptable, literate, digital educational tools. The Care Buddy app and our special sauce is proactive patient engagement. Patients are prompted by the app to respond and let the system know how they're feeling and how they're responding to their treatment plan. Patients may be asked about their symptoms about how they're feeling that day, as well as um, how they are responding in their overall well-being, and any concerns or stresses that they may have. The feedback from the system is delivered to proper healthcare team members who are able to then respond on a in a timely manner to them. Through the app, patients are also able to receive urgent messages, and they are also able to receive just a boost of confidence for that day to help them on their care journey. The market has plenty of educational content. However, what does not exist is the ability for proactive engagement, which has been shown to improve patient outcomes. Our competitors were evaluated on the top patient desired features and the top healthcare team desired features. And you can see that CareBuddy rose above, all Care Buddies rose above all of our competitors in our ability to offer what patients and healthcare teams desire. With value-based care on the verge of being adopted and even more widely adopted into the healthcare system, the time for our products and services is now. We have the ability to make a big dent in a very large market, uh, but we have a huge task at hand, including development across multiple platforms in multiple languages, and of course, the variety of our suite of tools. So with our big task at hand, we have a big ask. We are seeking $100,000 investment from local research triangle investors, as well as grants and crowdsource funding, and also the ability to self-invest to show our good faith and belief in our product. So if you would like to learn more about Care Bunnies, I will be at the back table in the corner here. Thank you very much.
everyone. My name is Miranda Cowell. I'm the creator and founder of The Teacher Tank, and I'm here today because it's my mission to help educators reclaim the professional in professional development. See, it was my four years teaching in the classroom that exposed me to some of the pitfalls that teachers face within the education, uh, within the profession. For one thing, there are so many aspects of our everyday job that is out of our control. Not only the children that we teach, but the standards that we teach, down to what order we teach those standards in. There are large changes and decisions being made each year by people that have never stepped foot in a classroom, yet we're encouraged to go with the flow and change all of our practices to go with these big changes. There isn't the proper training or support for teachers to deal with these changes and continue to be successful within the classroom. On top of that, the elephant in the room is the severe disparity amongst teachers with the resources that are available to them, from the supplies that they're given, to their salary, down to the support and opportunities for advancement that they have. It would take me 25 years teaching in North Carolina to make what I could have made my first year teaching in Pennsylvania. It are those harsh realities that ultimately led me to leave the classroom and to create the teacher tank. A free professional learning community and marketplace for educators designed with today's educator in mind. Our mission is to provide high quality, flexible forms of professional learning so that each educator gets the proper network and resources they need to be able to control each aspect of their professional, personal, and career development. One could argue that there are a sea of resources that exist in the market today for teachers for formal and informal professional development. But it takes a lot of time to go through that sea of resources to find something that's not only relevant, good quality, and completely custom to what your needs are. That's where the teacher tank um, is unique. We offer flexible forms of professional development because like our students that we teach, we don't all learn the same way. So whether you enjoy watching videos, participating in live webinars, or listening to a podcast on your drive to work, you can get the professional development that works for you. Which brings me to my second point. You can personalize your professional development. Different teachers have needs at different stages of their career. You might start at a new school that has a different program you've never uh, worked with before, or new technology that you're not used to working with. You can get your on-demand professional development with someone that's in the same grade and has gone through the same things that you're going through right then and there. The professional network of educators can get you connected to the people that are in the same boat as you. You can find a mentor or join a professional learning community. Above all else, the teacher tank offers career opportunities for the teachers involved. Meaning, if I want to go above and beyond in my profession, I don't get to hold an administrative position without leaving the classroom. I have to go first get my master's, and then I'm able to hold a leadership position. But at the teacher tank, you can share your passion with other educators without leaving the four walls of your classroom. In fact, you can change, uh, you can offer your passion and make a little bit of money while you do it. Teachers come to the teacher tank for different reasons. You might be an experienced teacher or a novice teacher with different goals in mind. The, not, uh, the, the veteran teacher shares their expertise in whatever form they want, whether it be a webinar or different uh, methods that we have. And then at the end, if they can offer some upgrades. If you needed more help, we can do one-on-one -on -one coaching packages one time, ongoing, and then if the veteran teacher is interested in becoming a technology specialist one day, they can host some workshops and find out if that's really where their passion lies before they leave the classroom, pay for a master's, and change their whole life just to see what happens. This helps 
gives the power and professionalism back to educators. So they can have some extra cash, some extra support, and extra resources custom tailored to them. Thank you.
we'll be releasing iBooks in the fall and spring and adding a full-time nurse planner, Nurse Mary Shampton, to the team. Immersive Health Tech is nimble and lean. Sweat equity drives the growth of this company, and as a result, we will not be searching for additional funding at this time. So if, if you would like to just read the most up-to-date literature, you want to use these technologies in a workshop for credit, or you want to incorporate these powerful tools into your organization, Immersive Health Tech can make that a reality. Federal financial aid. 
The other reason is need. Across the country, we are seeing a gap develop in skilled tradespeople. Take Chapel Hill, for instance. So we employ our own skilled craftsmen here, and they are quickly approaching the age of retirement across the board. I happen to know, met with someone yesterday, happen to know that the youngest carpenter that works for the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill is approaching 50. When our craftsmen retire, there's going to be a gap, and there are not enough people with those skills to be able to come and fill those gaps. The time is right to see career tra technical education as a success opportunity after high school. So why skill? Skill is the first comprehensive database that puts together all of these career technical education programs in one spot. Prior to skill, you have to go down a rabbit hole at each institution's website to find the cost, the time, the degrees offered. Skill is going to be completely comprehensive and have a database that allows you to compare schools across your area, across degrees, across costs, across time. If I leave you with one thing today, think about the way that you're speaking to students, your high school students, the people you know from a younger generation about what success looks like. Change the narrative. Talk to them about success in a variety of opportunities, and talk to them about skill. Thank you. My name is Jiang Yun, the founder of FunMath. FunMath offers online courses and free resources to help fourth grade Chinese students to improve their math ability. In China, in Shanghai, there is a big math test in fifth grade. The test is difficult but very important. A high school paves the way to be enrolled into a top middle school. So, students have a huge demand to take the after school math in fourth grade. However, they are facing some problems. Let's imagine a student sit in a crowded classroom, learn something that's not quite for his level by a new teacher use, using the standardized teaching approach. What happens? Distracted, frustrated, or even disgusting. We don't want to see faces like this, right? Therefore, one mass is established. I have created WeChat account, and WeChat is the most dominant social media in China, with over 1.5 billion monthly users. Now, Funmask WeChat account has 320 followers and has posted 45 articles that have been read for more than 7,000 times. The section Daily Math Super Gen is quite popular among students. I have also created the website. There, customers can find answers in the frequently Q&A section. They can also download teaching materials and watch teaching demos to experience instruction. They can also use a math tank, a library of math problems to, for additional practice. So welcome to experience my website after the presentation. I also delivered course, online courses in small size class and using the differentiated instruction. I have 70 enrolled students and delivered 81 lesson hours right now and earned revenue about $5,000. All in all, step by step, customers can use the WeChat account to know fun math and then have a comprehensive understanding through the website. After that, they will be paying customers to take my online courses. 
So how many students need fun math? Fun math will go from Shanghai, the big city, and there have been 170 70 students, confirmed students. So you can see the whole the whole big market there. Big companies do exist. Let's assume that fun math only gets one percent of the market. That is one point seven thousand dollar thousand students. Then we can earn two point sixty five million. Quite enough for a new startup, right? <laughs> so the big question is, why fun math? Oh, here the twenty five uh, the fifty two dollars per lesson is one option of fun math business models. You can see here we offer five options from one student to five students with corresponding lesson fees. Now let's look at why students choose fun math. I have tested 27 users, including the five children, in my summer course. Their positive feedback and testimonies demonstrate that fun math can outshine other companies in class customization, the teacher's teaching approach, the teacher's responsibility and passion, and some free but useful resources. And so on. So now look at, uh, let's look at the milestones and the projection. In general, we can see a steady increase in revenue uh, over the three-year projection. And here, I have directed the website and WeChat and delivered the summer course as I mentioned before. Then I will open the four class in September. After that. Next year, maybe it recruit some three or four new teachers and some teaching assistants. Yeah, you can see a rapid growth here because fun math will scale up to another two cities outside Shanghai. So, all in all, fun math is dedicated to enable Chinese fourth grade students to boost their math ability while having fun during the process. I hope every student who uses fun math can have such a big shiny smile. Thank you. <laughs>
I will tell you my story. 18 years ago, I led a team of 200 engineers to develop the first call router in China. You can see this one. From the perspective of technology, it's a big achievement. But from the point of, point of view of business, it's a huge failure. More than, more than 180 engineers were fired. And, and more than 50 million US dollars was wasted in this project. I quit a job and shut myself at home for one year, wondering what went wrong. And uh, one lesson I learned is that one of the most important reason is that the engineers don't know how to invent, how to develop new products. That's one of the most important reasons. Sure. Point it out the projector. Point out the projector. My solution is a learning platform for the engineers. And this platform has Currently has three products. The first product is an interactive, authentic case study. I will explain this later. And the second is an online course of innovation skills training. And the third one is an offline workshop for the enterprise customers. The key feature of the Eventually, here is an interactive, authentic case study. Uh, we only use the original innovation case by the innovators, and they will use their information and uh, in the process of the inventing to teach learners how to invent. This is part of an example of the interactive case study. First, the background information and the domain knowledge is explained. Then, a real-world challenges is given to the learners. Third, tips, tips, tips of the skill. For example, asking correct uh, questions. These skill tips are given. Then, the question tree, the question tree or the thinking framework is given for the learners. Then the learners will explore the problem. Finally, experts' approach and the thinkings are fully explained, and the learners can learn from this process. Evangelist's vision is three. First, it's a learning hub for engineers in the ICT industry. Second, it's a bridge between innovators and engineers. And the third is a knowledge base, knowledge database on engineering innovation open to the public. Okay. Thank you. Concludes our first round. All the students you saw present will have their I guess it's broken now. We'll have their prototypes on the back tables for you to go check out, to explore, to ask them questions, see their prototypes, and we'll resume in 25 minutes with the second round. Thank you. Good, good.